Our Renewable Nation Cross Country Eco Video Adventure is brought to you in part by Better World Club, the nation's only environmentally friendly auto club. Veranium, leader in the development and commercialization of cellulosic ethanol and supporters like you. There's a big new addition to the city skyline of Worcester, Massachusetts, 262 feet tall to be exact. I'm Carrick, and today I'm visiting Holy Name High School in their new wind turbine. I'll talk with Mrs. Mary Reardon, the president of Holy Name, and ask her about why the school decided to put up a wind turbine. My name is Mary Reardon, and I am president of Holy Name Central Catholic Junior Senior High School here in Worcester, Massachusetts. We decided to put up a wind turbine because the cost of electricity in this building was very high. This building is all electric, which means that we heat as well as light with electricity. And the cost of electricity has gone up a great deal uh, in the past few years. So we decided that we should look at some alternative forms of energy and we always have had wind up on this hill. So a wind turbine seemed like the right choice for us. How much did it cost? The total cost uh, is going to be about $1.6 million. How much electricity does it make? This turbine will produce over a million kilowatts of electricity every year. Is it enough to power the school? It should be enough to provide all the electricity that this school needs because we use between 960 and 980,000 kilowatts of electricity a year. So since we can produce over a million, it should provide all of our electricity. What happens if the wind isn't blowing? Do all the lights go off? No. You need to have between five and seven miles per hour of wind to have the wind turbine be functional. However, if the wind is below that speed, there is a meter inside the turbine. That is what is called a dual meter. It can go both ways. So if there is no wind, there is a seamless connection to the national grid and so electricity would be provided to the school. So we're never going to be without electricity. Does it make a lot of noise? It makes hardly any noise at all. The first time I heard the noise from this particular wind turbine, I described it as the sound that my overweight Russian blue cat makes when he is very, very content and purring. It is a soft, continual noise. It is not offensive to anyone. I'm standing right under the wind turbine now. Here's what it sounds like. Is there any problem with birds or bats flying into the blades? The research tells us that wind turbines kill an average of 1.5 birds per year and I'm sorry to say that my cat brings home more than that. So they do not harm birds and bats the way people think they do. What kind of feedback have you gotten from people in the neighborhood? All positive feedback. The word that we hear most often to describe what that turbine looks like is majestic. So I think people see it as something very positive in the neighborhood and very, very positive for renewable energy. I also checked in with some students and teachers at Holy Name to see what they think about the new wind turbine. I think it's great for uh, Worcester and you know, we need to look into alternative energies so it's, it's good for the country and proud to be part of Holy Name. Um, I think it's really good for our school and for Worcester. Um, it's saving a lot of money and energy, so it's really good. What do I think of the wind turbine? I think the wind turbine is really cool. I love the wind turbine. I like the noise that it makes. 
I like that I know that because it's spinning, it's going to be warm in this building because I don't like to be cold. So I love that. We really, really found it fascinating when they were putting it together that it's just so big. And I think, I think it's a little futuristic looking. I think it looks like something from the future. Here in Worcester, Massachusetts, that's the way the wind is blowing. Thanks for watching. This has been a pilot video for Our Renewable Nation, a cross-country eco-video adventure. In May, June 2009, we'll be crossing the U.S. making videos like these about renewable energy and sustainable living. Please visit our website, www.ourrenewablenation.org, to learn more about our cross-country video series, and please consider supporting our video project with a donation.